Group E has one game on Thursday and the remaining three the following night. Let's start with Anadolu FS Istanbul, fighting for the leadership of the group as they host Borussia Baskets Bamberg, who are still looking for their first top 16 win. In Germany about two months ago, the Turkish team won 94-76 with a great performance, with no less than seven players in double digits, led by the 17 of Shasha Vujicic, while Broze answered back with the 19 of Bostian Nakbar. The Slovenian duel between these two players will probably be the key to the game this time round. The three Friday games will start with Seska Moscow hosting Zalgiris Kaunas. For Ettore Messina and his guys, it's a crucial appointment on the way to the playoffs. No less so for Coach Plaza, who must win in order to still hope for a ticket to the next phase. In Kaunas in the first leg, Zeska won 87-73. In that game, Milos Teodosic 24 and Vladimir Mikov 20 were the top scorers, even if the top performer was Viktor Kriapa with an index rating of 27. On the Lithuanian side, Marko Popovic scored 16 points. Right after that game, we'll begin the Spanish derby in Madrid, where Unicaja Malaga will visit Real in another crucial game for both. Just like Anadolu Efes, Real is playing for the leadership of the group, or at least for one of the first two places, while Unicaja still have a slim chance of claiming a playoff berth. Rao won a great overtime game in Kaunas last week with the best Nikola Mirotic ever, be win MVP for the week, who set a new Euroleague record putting 18 free throws on 18. Unicaja also won a great game against Panathinaikos when Marcus Williams scored 16 points in the last period, including the last three triples in a row to make it 57-60 to the final 66-60 scoreline. In Malaga two months ago, Rao won 72-64. Rudy Fernandez, 15, and Sergio Rodriguez, 14, were the top scorers for the Blancos. Kronoslav Simon, 16, and Fran Vanskes, 12, answered back for Malaga. The last game of the group will be held in Athens, where Panathinaikos will host Alba Berlin. The Greens must win if they want to maintain the advantage over Unicaja in fourth place, while Alba, with just one win so far, have always fought in every match. In Berlin, the Greens won 79-73 in what was a close game when Jonas Masulis scored his season high with 28 points, well matched by Nehard Jedovic on the German side with 21 points. There are still many questions to be answered in Group E, but a few of them might come after Week 11.